Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. I'm outside White Hart Lane. We've just come out. It was Tottenham nil, Everton nil. I've got Dom with me. Dom, uh, what did you make of it? There's a bit of negativity around, but I do feel like we play better today. First things first, I think Mike Jones is definitely an Everton fan after numerous terrible decisions. That's the referee, Mike Jones. Go on. What did you, you know, you thought, I mean, I, I agree. He did seem a little trigger happy on his whistle today. Yeah, well, he's spraying out yellows all over the place. But taking that aside, I thought we were better, but we lacked something. I don't, I don't want to criticise too much, but maybe you might need to buy someone similar to Ericsson because without him, last two games, we've kind of lacked creativity. I saw a stat from last week. I know it's not the same as this week, but we had five touches inside our own in the box. And then this week, we only I think we had one or two clear-cut chances from Mason and Kane, and they really should have gone in. But, um, yeah... I don't know. I thought, uh, you know, we did keep our first clean sheet of the season. I thought Eric Dyer, I thought Eric Dyer was uh, tremendous today. And I thought it was no coincidence that today our back four were numbers, uh, back five were numbers one, two, three, four. And uh, I think that is the kind of back four that, that will be best for us, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, Eric Dyer was quite surprised putting him in defensive midfield from the preseason onwards. But he's definitely shone in that position. And I've heard he's played there in Portugal as well in the derbies against Benfica on his debut. And he's grown so far now only in one season in so we look we look definitely better today uh, defensive wise but up front we're just lacking something yeah. something's missing which hopefully Barry you know I heard Pato could be joining it's a risk but could it get us goals maybe yeah. could be a risk worth taking in a similar way to uh, the risk Stoke took on Bojan I totally agree with that um, who knows uh, I've got to ask you transfer deadline three days away you want Berahino in Pato maybe is that going to be enough to, to unlock these kind of games, do you think? Uh, we, we did look more sturdy, but you know we need to, we need to make these chances count, don't we? Well, I, still, well, I think we need at least two players, two strikers, maybe a defensive midfielder in Wanyama. I heard Ritzel could be a, a signing as well. Someone maybe like Ericsson, I don't know who, but someone just when he's injured or when he's not quite there, someone to unlock the door. All right. Sweet, guys, let us know if you agree with what Dom had to say in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Thanks a lot, Dom, mate.